DaVinci Resolve 11 combines the world's most powerful color corrector with professional multi-track editing, so now you can edit, color correct, finish, and deliver all from one system and in real time. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see four buttons for each step in the workflow. Projects start on the media page, where you browse, import, manage media, and create digital dailies. Once your media is imported, you move to the edit page. Resolve 11 features over 70 new tools for professional editors. From here, you can import projects from applications like Final Cut Pro 10 or start editing from scratch. On the color page, you'll find Resolve's complete color correction toolset. Everything you need to make high quality adjustments is here, making it simple and fast, once your project is edited, to grade the entire program. The Deliver page has basic, intermediate, and advanced sets of output controls, so that you can output your projects and share files in virtually any format. Resolve is flexible and lets you move between the pages in any order, so you can grade first, then edit, or jump back and forth as needed. Now, let's go back to the media page and have a closer look. DaVinci Resolve works natively with virtually all major professional formats, including Camera Raw. At the top left of the screen is the library, which shows you all of the drives attached to your system. You can preview and scrub through media before importing it, which makes it easy to select and import only the clips you want. If you're working on set to load footage, the new clone tool creates bit for bit copies of your camera's media, saving it to multiple drives with checksum verification. The bottom half of the screen contains the media pool, where you import media and create bins to organize the clips in your project. And if your video and audio were recorded separately with matching timecode, you can put the audio in the same bin right-click, and then choose Auto-Sync. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the Metadata Inspector, where you can view and modify clip information. Now let's take a closer look at the Edit page. Here you'll see the Timeline, Source Viewer, Timeline Viewer, the Current Project's Media Pool, and a Toolbox that contains Transitions, Titles, Generators, and third-party OpenFX plugins. You can create new timelines from scratch, or import projects from other post-production applications like Final Cut Pro 10, Media Composer, or Premiere Pro. Double-click any clip to load it into the viewer, mark in and out points, and then simply drag it in. Three-point edits are just as easy. Mark three points on the clip and timeline, drop the clip in, and you're done. Resolve 11 also lets you create split edits in which the audio and video start at different times. Trimming in Resolve 11 is context sensitive. Depending on where you click in the timeline, you can ripple, roll, slip, or slide without having to change tools. You can even trim live during playback using the JKL keys. For greater precision, you can edit and trim using a complete set of customizable keyboard shortcuts or by entering timecode. To apply a transition, open the toolbox and drag one over to the timeline. You can also right-click any edit point to add the default transition while setting its duration. The inspector, which can be opened at the top right of the screen, displays the current clip's transformation and cropping controls, along with all of the parameters for any generators or transitions that have been applied. To animate a parameter, simply add a keyframe and change the value. Keyframes can also be viewed in the timeline which makes it easy to check and adjust timing in the context of your edit. There's also an integrated curve editor where you can fine-tune the animation by adjusting curves. Speed effects can be added by right-clicking on any clip and selecting Change Clip Speed or using the Retime command. And because it's DaVinci Resolve, all these effects will play in real time. On the color page, you'll see the Still Gallery, Viewer, Node Tree, a miniature timeline, and on the bottom of the screen, the grading controls. Using the camera raw palette, you can choose how to debayer and adjust the image exposure to bring out details in the highlights or shadows of an image to give your clip the best starting point. You can also use the new color match palette to analyze and automatically balance shots with standard color charts included with the slating. Once the clips have been balanced, 
Primary grading can begin using familiar color balance controls for lift, gamma, gain, and offset to adjust the overall color of the image. For more granular control, sliders on the primaries palette let you adjust individual YRGB channels. Using custom curves, you can make even finer adjustments to the luminance, red, green, or blue curves. If you want to check your work using video scopes, just right-click the viewer to show the waveform, parade, vector scope, and histogram window. Grades can be copied from one clip to another or to an entire group that you define. Adjustments made to one clip in a group automatically ripple to the others. As you grade, you can save stills to the gallery and then compare them side by side with another clip, using them as a reference to ensure consistency while you work. A split screen mode even allows you to compare and play back multiple clips at the same time while you fine tune a scene's grades. The light box gives you another way to see and compare color across every clip in the project. At the top right is the node graph. Each node is a color correction adjustment, and nodes can be added in series or layered with composite modes. To correct a specific region of the image, add a node and then use a power window to limit the adjustments made by the current node to the portion of the image either inside or outside the window. Corrections can also be limited by isolating regions of a particular color using HSL qualification. For example, in this shot we're isolating the green grass so that our color adjustment only affects that part of the picture. You can use any combination of nodes, windows, and qualifiers to create targeted adjustments that can even match moving subjects using Resolve's incredible tracker. When your edit and grade have been completed, the Deliver page has everything you need to output or share files, organized into the Render Settings window, Viewer, Render Queue, and a Timeline. To export video, just make the appropriate settings, define which portion of the timeline clip or clips you want to export, then add the job to the render queue and click Render. DaVinci Resolve 11 features an incredibly deep set of high-performance real-time tools that let you manage your media, edit your video, grade, finish, and deliver faster than ever before.